Hey guys, uh, in an effort to drastically up the quality of what I'm posting, uh, I bought a few upgrades and reorganized a bit of my working space. Later today, I'm gonna finish recording what I need for the, uh, the night portrait tutorials. I did a video last week and started editing it together and realized that I had some technical issues. So, you know, as I venture into more and more video stuff, it's gonna be a learning process, but uh, I wanted to kind of test everything out before I wrap everything up tonight for the night portrait tutorial uh, with what I wanted to do this morning anyway, which is modify this lens to fit this camera. So this is the phase one with the XF body and it's a newer body and when they released it, it's mostly compatible with older lenses, but not this one in particular. So this is the Mamiya, Mamiya, however you say it, 80 millimeter f 1.9. So it's a beautiful lens, manual focus only, and it gives you kind of the equivalent focal length of a 50 millimeter f 1, something like that. Thankfully, they have the instructions uh, on, the, on the site of how to do it. I think I just have to remove a couple mounts and then use a Dremel or something. I'm gonna try this first, see if it works. And if not, uh, this will take a lot longer, but you just have to remove a little piece of the metal. So we're gonna see how it goes. I have a hard drive screw, hard drive computer screwdriver here, and hopefully it's small enough to actually fit this sucker. Perfect. It's one. I'm just now realizing a wooden desk like this is probably not the best thing. I need to get a mat to collect one of those magnetic mats to collect all the screws so they don't go rolling around and get lost. There it is. So this is the ring I need to modify and it's just a slight modification. It's actually really, it's like aluminum. I don't think it's very tough stuff. So I need to shave off everything from about that opening to roughly right there. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. It's not every day you get to destroy a very expensive lens for an incredibly expensive camera. So uh, the Dremel head that I chose is just kind of the one that I used in, on my last project. It's definitely not the one that you're supposed to use for metal, but I couldn't find the right mount for that. So I'm just gonna try this first. It's definitely working. It's gonna take a while. I'm also realizing a ton of little metal shavings are going everywhere, so I'm gonna move all the camera equipment a little further back. There we go. And I wish I had a mask. <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing I inhaled a lot of stuff I shouldn't have, but that's okay. All right, so putting it back on seems pretty close. This is what I'm looking at. So that probably needs to be pretty flush. So I'm gonna take this down just a little more. Looks good to me. Let's reattach the screws. Looking at it now with the screws in, I'm pretty confident I took it low enough. Now it's just a question of if I got enough of the distance cut away from one end to the other. So now I'm supposed to attach this thing to the phase one. <laughs> uh, medium nervous about this. Perfect. Oh my God, it mounts perfectly. That's amazing. Done, problem solved. Uh, so I'm gonna take some pictures and post them along the video, probably right here. And uh, see how this thing performs, but it seems pretty great. I'm also gonna take a blower and just get all those tiny little dust particles out in case anything got in there. Barring any unforeseen te technical difficulties, I will finish my night portrait review tonight and get it up over this weekend, uh, fully edited and hopefully pretty, uh, pretty quality. So thanks. <laughs>